Hello everybody and welcome to Vietnam. We spent around two weeks here and managed to visit so many different places and I think it was my favourite country I went to in Southeast Asia. The people were so friendly, we met some amazing people on this part of the trip. The food was delicious, I loved how much there was to see and do. I just thought it was so pretty as well, such an amazing country. So we flew from Bali to Hanoi and our first day we spent on a walking tour which was so insightful and really valuable. This is one of my highlights from the whole trip again. The guy who took us around was really nice and it's cool just to hear about the city from someone who actually lives there and knows what they're talking about. We went to some markets and just in general looked around at some of the like famous landmarks and he also just told us a bit more about Vietnamese culture which was really insightful and cool. We had been told by some people we met earlier on our trip that Ninh Binh was a non-negotiable for Vietnam. So we took a day trip here, um, we went to a temple and the highlight of the day was definitely these boats. It was such pretty scenery and so peaceful. Today we went on a day trip to Halong Bay which is around like three hours away from Hanoi so definitely a bit of a bigger day out but so famous you can't come to Vietnam and not go. This is I think debated as one of the like extra natural wonders of the world and I can see why it is stunning, so cool and I don't think until this trip I'd been anywhere that looked anything like this so I had a really nice time this day as well, there was really great food on the boat and it was just quite cool to be in nature, especially after staying in such a busy city. <laughs> The following day we flew to Hue which is a city further south in Vietnam and from, from what we read up this city is really important in the history of Vietnam overall, some really cool history here. 
We also saw, I think, probably the best sunset of the trip here, which was really nice. We walked around a market as well. And this was a really cool city. We only spent like half a day here, but I was really glad we got to see it. And I also enjoyed the food we had here. If you are noticing a theme, it's that Vietnamese food is amazing. <laughs> Close proximity makes you want to reach out to former flames But I'll be across the Hudson keeping her away Cause I fell in love with her once and I'd do it again stop was Da Nang which is a coastal city I think um, very very close to Hue we caught the train but it only took like a few hours um, this place was really really cool I think we went in the off season so it was a bit more empty but we got to stay in the nicest hotel for such a good price like five pounds a night and that hotel was lovely so this was a very welcomed kind of like luxurious experience for us um, but yeah, Da Nang was really cool. I loved being able to see the beach and swimming in a new country is always fun. We also visited the Banar Hills, which has this very famous hand bridge. Um, the weather wasn't great the day we went, but it was still really cool to see it. And I also ate some more great food here. And I definitely recommend if you're going to Vietnam to stop here because it's quite different to the other places we visited. And I think it's nice to see like more variety within a country. Next up is Hoi An, I think my favourite place we visited in Vietnam. It's really common to get custom made clothes there, so we went initially to a first meeting about getting some clothes made. And then we had this banh mi. Banh mi is a Vietnamese sandwich, basically from the French colonisation. It's like got Vietnamese fillings in a French baguette. And firstly, it is delicious in general, but this place, I'm not kidding, we went there so, so much. Like literally so much i ate like eight in four days so please go there if you visit yeah. other than that hoi an was a really picturesque very calm quite idyllic little town i'd say it's not it's much smaller than the other places we went lovely waterfront That's okay. and yeah, just some really nice architecture it's one of the few places that wasn't affected by bombings so some of the architecture is more traditional which was cool to see and lots of lovely lanterns. I think this was quite a quaint like version of Vietnam, which was nice to experience.
Our final stop was Ho Chi Minh City. These clips are from the War Remnants Museum, which if you go to Vietnam, I think needs to be a must see. It's so important and crazy to learn about the war and I feel like that museum was so well done. We also went to some markets, just walked around in general and we also visited the Coochie Tunnels. I didn't film anything there but again that was so crazy to see that firsthand. And yeah, that's all the footage I actually have from Vietnam. Um, here are some extra little pictures in case you want anything more. And I didn't film anything else from the trip. In the end, we got really sick in Cambodia and then Thailand just chilled on the beach a lot. So <laughs> it was a bit more chill, but I hope you've enjoyed the videos and thank you for sticking around.